Hey YouTube, welcome back. So we are only a few weeks away from Festival that sees Pave return to host the carnival inspired holiday. Now the event itself sees a bunch of feathers floating around the island including the blue, green, purple and red variations. As far as I know none of these feathers are any rarer than the others although occasionally it may seem like you see more of the red feather for example similar to how balloons spawn. Anyway there is a fifth feather that does spawn a lot less frequently than the four we just mentioned. Every now and then you may stumble across a wild rainbow feather floating around just like the others and honestly if you see any you're going to want to catch them. Now before we get into the ultimate trick that will save you so much time it's worth looking at what rainbow feathers are actually used for in a little more detail mostly for the newcomers out there. Now rainbow feathers have two main uses. The first is collecting them to hand over to Pave towards the end of the festival event in order to obtain the exclusive festival item that can't be purchased from Nook's Cranny in the lead up to the holiday. The second is using them to customize the festival furniture you've purchased from Nook's or obtained through Pave during the event. Now just like the customization kits, some items require multiple rainbow feathers to customize them and with them being so rare it can be a bit daunting to want to customize an entire festival furniture set. Now fortunately the rainbow feathers themselves can also be crafted so you don't have to worry too much about finding them in the wild but if you do it's just a bonus. To craft a rainbow feather you need to catch one of each of the other feather variations so blue, green, purple and red which is fine but it is a bit tedious to catch them then craft them one by one until you have enough for pave and enough to customize a bunch of festival furniture items. Now fortunately Nook's Cranny does sell a bunch of festival furniture items in the lead up to the holiday however more than likely the item will be in a different color variation than the one you're looking for so again even in the lead up to the event it could be quite tricky to obtain an entire festival furniture set in the color variation you want. Fortunately the most recent 2.0 update that released just before the holidays introduced a new mechanic that is so obvious I think is often overlooked but it will save you so much time catching feathers, crafting rainbow feathers and of course customizing festival furniture items into the theme you want. So what is this ultimate mechanic? Well if you head to Dodo Airlines and take a trip to the mini archipelago that is Harv's Island and speak with Cyrus assuming you've unlocked him if you haven't definitely do that and Cyrus will customize any festival item into another variation for a couple thousand bells. Now not only does this mean you can get prepared for the festival event in advance by customizing all the items you purchase from Nook's Cranny into the colors you want but it means you won't have to worry about finding and catching those super rare rainbow feathers on the day of the event or spending ages crafting them just to customize items on the day. Taking advantage of Cyrus will honestly save you a lot of stress and time hunting down or crafting these rainbow feathers and ultimately allow you to enjoy the festival event much more and will be especially useful for those who can't spend too long playing through the event itself. Of course if you prefer crafting and customizing on the day and don't want to take away from the experience just save a bunch of bells in the meantime so you can still get Cyrus to customize items on the day if you want. So there we have it, thanks to the 2.0 update we now have another way to customize event items and of course bypass the use of those super rare rainbow feathers. But what do you think about this mechanic and do you often use Cyrus for customizing furniture items? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and until next time have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.